Yikes. Oh shit! He's not dead. Or is that a different one? I think that was a different one because we blew that guy's head. Yeah, he must have been a different one. Was not expecting that. Scared the hell out of me, man. Okay, the landmines took care of several of them for us. They will get through that door very quickly. It's a bunch of nastiness on the other side of that door there. That went reasonably well. Actually, it went very well. <laughs> we need to make some more landmines, man. Uh, yeah, that was very, very useful. I'm going to pop a pain pill just to get our health all the way back to max. And we're going to have to drink uh, to counter that. Okay, great. So it's not over yet. Uh, we have another ambush that usually takes place just right at the end of this hall. Um, but if we're really careful, we might be able to snipe our way out of most of that. I don't think there's anything in here except for just bathroom stuff. Um, what is that? That's just a garbage, right? Yeah, I think that's just a trash. Oh, there's a chamois box. Okay. Anything else up here? Nice. Uh, you know what? Let's eat this right now. I want to keep the sham for sham chowder. I'm not going to take the potato because we've got stacks of potatoes back at the base, so there's not much point in taking those. You know, let's check these for acid and amu ammunition. Okay. Not taking the coffee. We got tons of coffee. That we'll take and sell. Okay, so now we're going to have a bunch of Zikos right up on this roof here. Um, but we might be able to snipe several... Oh, those guys just spawned in. All right, well, let's take care of this one. Maybe we'll be able to snipe irradiated Marlene. Uh, we do have a rad remover on the crossbow, so... There we go. Nice. That worked out pretty well. Some more sinks we could check for acid and ammo, but let's deal with these zombos that are going to be right up here. There's one right there. Okay, we got a red dot up there. That's Probably a vulture, though. I'm thinking. Let's check stuff really quick. There's some acid. We'll just consume that for the XP. And I'm not going to check the dumb stove. All we're going to find in there is pots and pans and grills. Okay. So let's move on up. Stay nice and quiet here. Grab our bolts back. 
There's the vulture. Nice. We're doing pretty good on, on taking out irradiators and armored even during the day without the extra, you know, buff that we get from Night Stalker. So I'm pretty happy how things are going so far. In terms of our, you know, our sneak damage effectiveness. All right, we're going to have Zeke's in these little closet areas. Oh, shit. There's Hawaii 5 over there. I'm afraid that might happen. Let's see if we can thread the needle right here. There we go. There we go. Okay, so let's stand right here and open these up. Wow. There was only one Zeke in all of those closets. That's unusual. Usually there's two to three in these closets. Okay, we got somebody or something over there we have to be wary of. Oh, man, we just lost our crossbow bolt. Fell through the thing. Did it go down below? Yeah, it's right down there. Ah, well, I guess we'll pick it up. <laughs> that worked. Wasn't what I had planned, but it worked, right? Okay, sometimes you can find the bolts just kind of sticking here, but it looks like they're, they've all disappeared. And I made a little too much noise. Down with the sickness. Okay, so we have cleared this area, it appears. So let's continue on up through here. Now we're going to go into uh, the office area and deal with a bunch of businessmen zombie next. Whoop. All of the shotgun messiah suits. They're all in there. Oh, shit. That was close. <laughs> yeah, I'd say uh, stealth is working pretty good. <laughs> Damn. I just about stepped on that buzzard's head. Okay, so we got to hop up here quietly, and then it uh, doesn't look like there's anybody in that corner, but we got a bunch of Zekos over there. There's nobody in this corner either, which is useful. Okay, so can we get up here and snipe anybody from this higher perch? No, it doesn't look like it. They're all very well hidden. Let's see what's in this box. We'll take that, but I'm just going to scrap it. Oh, shit, we're out of space already. You know what? Let's just drink this. We might have to make another run down to the four. Either that or I'll, I'll put a drop chest down. Okay, let's put our night vision on because it's getting dark in this one spot. Yeah, I cannot see any of these guys from up here. Oh, wait, there's one head way over there, but it's still kind of around the corner. Can we get over this way just a little bit? Okay, one down. Hmm. 
there's a a leg down there. But we probably are not going to get a one shot on that. Okay, let's see if we can sneak up over this way. Is that a head right there? Can't really tell. There we go. Right here. Okay, so we just got three left. There's somebody over there. And somebody over there. And over there. Okay, so the... Oh, there he is right there. All right. One more to go. And he's right there. Excellent. Love it when a plan comes together. All right, so we cleared this entire room stealthily. We didn't aggro anybody. That's what we like to see. Let's see if we can get some of our crossbow bolts back. Check these boxes, too. We should hit filing cabinets, because you can actually find some pretty decent stuff in filing cabinets. Not so much in those boxes, though, huh? Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. We could, uh... Let's turn this off. I want to close this door for a minute. And let's go ahead and harvest this brass, since we already have brass going on here anyway. Are there any more brass lamps in here? Nothing over on that side. I wish we could find the, or get the thing to make those, because those are useful lights, and they don't even require electricity either. All right. I think we're ready to move on to into the next section. Where is our satchel? It's on this level, it looks like, but way over in that corner of the building. Okay. Let's turn that. Night vision off. There might be a Zeke in here. Yeah, it's an irradiated. Let's put that there. Close that door. All right, here we go. Nice. Good work, junkie. Good work. All right. Is there anything in here? This would be a good place to hide something, but I'm not seeing anything. Okay, now we have another ambush section we have to get through here, but if we play our cards right, we should be able to do it stealthily. There's a foot right there. And a head to go along with it. Oh. I've got a 
get in the habit of just hitting the reload key every time I shoot the crossbow. Just do it without even thinking about it. We got three guys off that direction. And then one more guy right over here. Excellent. We cleared this section. There's going to be a dude inside that crane place. So we'll deal with him next. And then there's an ambush right, there's a zombo right behind there and right behind there. And that one's going to be tough. Um, is there any way we could see them from over here? Oh, yeah. Can we shoot through the rail, though? Sure enough. Okay, we took care of that guy. Let's go over here. All right, that thing doodles in the way. I can't see his head from here. We could use the rifle <clears throat> and just, you know, aggro him, get him to stand up, and then take him out with the knife if he comes over this way. Oh, let's do it. Is he dead? Now he is. Okay. That worked out. Another ambush spot. Okay, so we're going to open this door. We're going to hop in here. And we're going to see how many of these guys we can take down next. Let's get in this corner here. He dropped a bag. Okay, I think that takes care of all of the burners. Can we reach that bag from here? I don't want to stand in the fire. Uh, or the coals, because it'll catch us on fire. What about right here? There we go. Oh, nice. Damn. That's really nice. Ah, oh, shit. What are we going to do, though? We don't have room for it. Um. Well, let's see here. I mean, I hate the throwaway sewing kits. I really do, but... Um, that's the least, most important thing in our inventory right now. Yeah, we're going to have to, we're going to have to make a trip back down to the Jeep or do a drop chest. A 241 coin, I'd like to take that, but I don't think there's anything, I mean, I think everything in our inventory is worth more than 241 coin. So, we're going to, we're going to leave that. Okay. So let's see, our Jeep is that way. <clears throat> um, and we're going to need room to get our satchel, which is right here. Okay, something else has to go. What's it going to be? We're not going to have to make... Any more steel tools? 
I mean, those are kind of valuable, but I think we're just going to let those go. Or what we could do... Um, I'll no, you know what? Let's let's work our way down to the to the four by drop off, and then we'll come back and grab the satchel. Because I mean, once we grab the satchel, we can't get rid of it anyways. It'll stay in there in our inventory for the whole time. So let's just do that. So we're gonna have a couple of Zikaroos in here to deal with, and then that next room's gonna be pretty challenging. But we'll deal with that after we unload. Okay, I think that's all that's in here for Zombos. Now, what's the quickest way to our 4 by? Um, what we could do is, well, don't stand on that. We can maybe drop down here and then just nerd pull back up to this spot. I think our impact bracers will protect us. I guess we're going to find out. Okay. So we're not too terribly far from the entrance here. Just have to run back through this way. Oh, hello, Piggly Wiggly. Will you go down, Edgar? Oh shit. We got a double. Don't have any stamina. Is she dead? Yeah, she did. Okay, so let's offload, um, and then I'll meet you guys back up by the satchel, and then we'll continue on from there. Okay. Let's grab the satchel and uh, move into the next section here. So this part's going to be a bit tricky. Um, this is one place we definitely do not want to aggro the whole group. So at a minimum, we want to try and thin them out before we aggro the whole group. And ideally, we don't want to aggro the group at all. If we can get away with it. Um, can't quite see... That dude's head from there. I thought that was going to hit the concrete. Hmm, this is risky. Just went right over the top of his head. Okay, we got him. Love that penetration, man. Right through his shoulder and into his skull. I don't think we're going to be able to get to that guy. Unless we try and take him out at the knee. Well, let's, uh, let's hold off on him for now. Okay, so we're going to have some dudes. Well, we have one dude. Somewhere around over here. Oh, there's a dude right there. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so it looks like everybody on this side is taken care of. I don't see any really, really big red dots. So that means there's nobody on this platform.
Um, some of those are going to be uh, vultures too. Okay, so that takes care of him. Yeah, I guess that's the guy we couldn't get to before, right? Because I don't see any more red dots over there. I was trying to get headshots off, but that's a really narrow target. Okay, can we get this guy while we're crouched? hear combat music. Oh, maybe that's not combat music. Okay, we gotta jump up here quietly. Great. Okay, so we cleared the first part of this very dangerous area. <clears throat> now we're going to have another ambush spot over here. Okay, let's jump up here. Quietly as possible. Bob got it right in the knockers. There's one right there. Okay. That uh, thwarted that ambush point. Let's open up this shoddy messiah and see what's in here. <clears throat> Some nine mils. We already looked in there. Grab the brass. Those are tough guys. I already have tough guys. Um, we'll take them, but that'll be one of the first things to go if we need to clear up some space. All right. So far, so good. Make sure everybody's loaded up here. This spot's always a pain in the butt to get through. It's this little overhang here that... Makes it kind of tough to get up here. Okay, crouch, stand, jump. Okay, this next part's going to be a little bit tricky, too. We've got some Zeeks there. And we've got a bunch of Zeekers over there. Okay, here's one we can dispatch right now. So what we're going to do 
here is we're going to put Junkie down and then we're going to kind of work our way around the edge of here to see if we can take a few more out. We don't have red dots yet, so we have to do this the old-fashioned way. Let's see if we can get over here for a little bit better angle on the head there. Did that hit the pallet? I must have hit the pallet. Oh, that's the guy I already killed. Okay, never mind. He's the live one. Now we got red dots. So there's three guys across the way, and there's three guys over in that corner. We're, we're going to leave those guys alone until we get across, and we'll kill them from over on that side, because it's really hard to sneak up on them from this side. Everybody over there is really well hidden. Let's go ahead and grab Junkie. Okay, he's dead. There's two guys behind there, a guy behind there, and a guy behind there. Okay, this is tricky. This is tricky. So, since we only have one to deal with over here, let's get this guy out of the way first. And if we happen to aggro him, we'll just knife him. Gotta stay as silent as possible. Man, he is like really well hidden. We might have to go for a knee shot on this guy and then knife him. Because I'm afraid if I try and get any closer to him, he's going to aggro. So yeah, let's do that way. Okay, that worked. What? No. I was looting the trash. Reload. Almost there, guys. Almost there. This, uh, this area here is a dangerous, dangerous part. In fact, it could be even potentially the most dangerous part of this whole POI just because of the way that it's set up, you know? <clears throat> and I have been killed in this spot uh, a couple of times since the shotgun the side factory has been in existence. So, yeah. All right, so we got one guy to deal with there, and then we got a couple more. Oh, here, we can take this one out now. Okay, so this guy seems to be right about in the middle of this pile of pallets. So we'll try and get around to him, but if we don't, we'll just knife him. I don't like that we're going to be in the light of the window, but there's not much we can do about that. Just ease right on around. And right in the nape of the neck. Beautiful. 
Okay, one guy, one more guy over here. He's right there. And that clears this room. Whew. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this one, this area, I just have have bad uh, memories of this area. So it's always a relief to to finally successfully get through it without uh, causing a shitstorm, you know? Okay, cool. I think we've recovered as many crossbow bolts as we can. Now let's move on into this area. Close that door. And uh, check the lockers really quick. I oh, don't no, want five gunpowder. Care of those we got a guy fairly close with that larger red dot but he's probably up above I think Stupid zombos messing with my 4x4. Four four. She, she moved her head, right? When I shot. This might not be a bad idea for us to bail off and unload again. Of course, we're really not that full at the moment. Ah! He got the jump on us there. Shower enough did. So that spot right there is that the tower that we were in earlier where we opened up the three shotgun messiah boxes and I was afraid or concerned, you know, that we would aggro everybody. So it's these this group of zombos that you see, all the red dots that aggro, they come out the door and then they break through the wall to try and get at you. Okay. Here we go. I think that was just Big Mama that hurt us. Got someone over there. Nobody's like right around the corner here though. Yeah, we hit the pipe. Let's close that door. Sometimes there's a sleeper right there, but he's not spawning in this time. Yikes. Oh shit! He's not dead. Or is that a different one? I think that was a different one because we blew that guy's head. Yeah, he must have been a different one. Was not expecting that. It scared the hell out of me, man. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so we got a couple of guys, I think, that are up that way. Yeah, 
all those wandering zombos are down below. I don't think there's anything in there. There's no red dots, so there's no zombos in there anyway. Put it that way. Okay, into the next area. If we can get a twofer. Let's see. Nope. It didn't penetrate. deal with these guys now, then we don't have to worry about them when we get over there. Okay. Okay, well, we've got three red dots that are all on the other side of this panel here. Gotta be really careful. Nice and quiet. Got stupid things in the way. I've got to go forward. And then the other one is... Oh, where is the other one? Oh, shit. Right inside of there. 